What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over how to get the most significant bit of a number. So let's say we have, say we have the number of 10, right? This is in base 10. And I want to get the most significant bit of this number. And what does that mean? If you were to convert 10 into binary, 10 into binary, it's 1010, 0, 0, right? And the most significant bit is the bit on the far left side. So it's this one. This is the most significant bit, right? This one. Is the most significant bit this most significant bit if you were to actually draw out the number of powers so the powers in binary starts from zero right two to the zero power two to the first two to the second two to the third right if you were to you know put all these values into its equivalent binary forms have this one times two to the third plus zero times two to the second plus one times two to the first plus zero times zero, right? You would see that the most significant bit is actually two to the third, which is equal to eight. Okay, the most significant bit is this two to the third, right? This part, this part, this one corresponds to two to the third. And that most significant bit is eight, right? So uh, basically what, the, what we want to do is basically to find the most significant bit of this value and to compute that. So uh, let's actually go over how to do that now because might as well do it. So there's a there's actually a few ways you could do it. There's actually three ways you could do it. But um, yeah, let's actually go over all three. All right, guys. So the first efficient way to do this or not actually not efficient way um, to do this is actually to just keep dividing the, the number by two and then keep a count. Right. And then in the end, by the end of the loop, what's going to happen is you're going to have a counter that counted to how many times this number was div divided by two. And then we just raise that to the power, right? That's what, that's basically how you would do it. So, um, so basically, uh, we have 10, let's say we have 10 here and we're going to divide it by two. So this is going to give us five. So now counter is going to become one, right? So we add one to the counter, right? Then we take five and we divide it by two again. And then because this is like a floor, it rounds downwards, right? Remember division integers truncates the last a few digits, right? So this is going to go, give us two, right? It rounds downwards. So then our count is going to become two, right? Because we added one here. And then we take two and divide by two and we get one. Then our count becomes three, right? We added one to the count. And then we take one and divide by two. And this is going to give us two zero, right? Because it rounds downwards. So the count becomes four. Okay, so then after the end of this, uh, so now we have the, the counters of the ones that divided by two uh, each time. So now um, remember, because our th our values of bits are actually indexed from zero, right? So we have two to the zero, two to the first, two to the second, two to the third. In the end, we actually have to just take our counter, which there's four, because we're going to take this four, right? And we're going to subtract it by one to get three. And then we just take this uh, three and then just raise it to the third, right? So two to the third, we take this the three and then we raise two to its power, two to the third, which will give us eight, right? So that's basically how you would get the kth bit from, not the kth bit, um, the most significant bit on the farthest left side from doing this, the naive approach, okay? So that's how you would do it. And uh, I'll just show you guys the code, how to code it up. All right, guys, so here's the code. Basically, um, we have a function called set bit number. This is just uh, the m most significant bit, okay? So we have our integer n. Um, if n is equal to zero, we just return zero because like, why even divide by two, right? If it's a zero at the, that point, it doesn't matter. All right, so now we're gonna have a counter. I call it MSB, but um, yeah, you could call it count, it doesn't matter. Basically, um, we just have a while loop that checks while n is not equal to zero, we're just going to keep dividing by two. So we just take n and divide by two. So uh, as many times as possible, right? And then each time we divide by two, we're going to add one to the most significant bit. And then in the end, we just take this most significant bit that we have subtracted by one. And then um, we're going to do two to the power of that. Um, and remember, whenever you bit shift uh, left, we take a value of one, right? And we shift it to uh, left that number of times this this does uh raise it raises it two to the end right so this is going to raise it uh two to the number of bits minus one so in our case when it was 10 right for 10 we had four and we take four minus one gets us three and then we just this is going to do two to the third power which gives us eight so let's say we could actually step through that right here 
Okay, um, yeah, I'll just put that here. Okay, so let's actually step through it to explain how the code works. Um, I don't know, so let's go to the debugger. Okay, so initially we have 10, right? Our number is 10, and then the the value of our bit, what's significant bit, uh, why, did it, why does it say two, it should be 10. Oh, that's weird. Okay, whatever. Uh, so yeah, what's significant bit is zero, right? Because we start at zero. And then um, while it's not equal to zero, uh, while n is not equal to zero, my bad. While so this while this ten is not equal to zero, we just keep divided by two, so it becomes five. Then we add one to our most significant bit, which is one. And then now we divide it by two again, so we have two, right? We n does now become two. And then we add one to our most significant bit, and then we divide it by two again, which gets us n equal to one. And then we add one to our most significant bit to get three. And then we add one again. Oh, yeah, divide by two again, which gets you zero, and add one to it, so four. In the end, we're gonna return a one shift left to uh, four minus one, which is three, right? So four minus one is three. And then we shift left to that, so it's gonna raise it two to the third power, which is going to give us eight. So most significant bit returns eight. And then you, in the end, you just get eight here. So that's basically the answer given 10. And now I'll show you another way that's not O of N time complexity, but it's a bit more, way more complicated. And um, yeah, I'll just explain that other second way. All right, guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to do the most efficient solution, but it's actually more confusing. So I'm not sure if I would actually use this lately. So basically what we're gonna do for this most efficient solution of O of one, um, we're not actually gonna check any conditionals, so how this works is that we're going to keep shifting it right by one, two, four, eight, and then 16. And the reason why we go up to 16 is because we know that in an integer, an integer, there's 32 bits, right? So then the highest value you could have is probably is 16 bits because you're starting from you're starting from zero, right? So if you're going to sh keep shifting, uh, keep shifting right by one, two, four, eight. 16 what's going to happen is is that and if you or all of them you're going to have a bunch of ones and then the rest are zeros right the rest are zeros and then what's going to happen is that uh if you shift it right by if you add yeah you basically what's going to happen is you have a bunch of ones if you add one you're going to have the first value of most significant bit is going to be one and the rest are zeros and then if you shift it right by one that'll be your answer Okay, um, so I'll just actually explain how this works. So let's say we have 1010, zero, zero, which is 10. Um, now what we're, we're gonna do is we're going to shift this 10 to the right by one. And what is this going to do is we are, if you shift this right of 10, 1010, one, zero, zero, you shift this right by 10 by one. Um, I, I, maybe I should put it in binary. So yeah, if you shift it right by 10 by one, what's going to happen is it's going to give you um, so this this one goes away, this zero goes away, right? This 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 part goes away. So then you're going to have um, zero one zero one, okay? This is this is the answer. And what we're going to do is we're going to or both of these together. So if you or both of these together, you're going to have one zero one zero two, right? Or it with uh, zero one zero one, or, right? And then zero one, uh, zero one becomes one, one zero becomes uh, one, one zero becomes one, one zero becomes one. Okay, you get all ones. Okay, um, yeah, you get all ones. Okay, and then after this is going to be one of your answers. We're going to get all ones. So in the end, you're going to have all ones here, right? So this is going to give us. Uh, one zero one zero two or it with uh, zero one zero one is going to give us all ones okay which is here and then what we're going to do is we're going to keep doing this again so now we're going to shift this right down by two and then oring it um, in this case we're actually pretty lucky that we got all ones in the beginning but how what we're going to do is that uh, if you didn't get all ones you just have to keep doing this Right, so let's actually just continue doing this, doing this. Okay, so here we're gonna now shift it right by two. Right, so now we have one 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 one. If I should one 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 one, 
phase two right if I shift it right by two. So here is going to be shifting right by two. All right, this is going to give us um, zero, zero, one, one. Okay, and uh, zero, zero, one, one. And how I got this because I just basically took away the last two values and moved it right. And now I'm going to or it with one, 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 zero, zero, one, one. And if you or these two together, you're going to actually end up. Uh, let's actually just do or. Or, or these two get together, you're gonna to get all ones, okay? All right, and then now we have to do four and then 16. So um, I think you guys understand the gist of this. Basically, you just have to get all ones by the time. So ideally, in the end, what's, what it's gonna do is you're gonna have all ones, okay? Um, so after doing this um, two, four, eight, and then 16, you're gonna end up with all ones. So let's just assume that we did all the all the shifting already and got all ones okay so now at this point it's all ones right at this point we're assuming that we already shifted it right by two and then four and then eight and then 16 right so after shifting it all these you got ones right we got all ones so now now we have this this binary representation of all ones so now, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to add one to this binary representation. And the reason why we add one to this binary representation is that it's going to basically flip all the bits to, uh, to become zeros. And then it's going to have a most value at the opposite of one. So if, if I add one to this answer, all the bits are just going to become zero, 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 right? And I'm going to have a one on the farthest left. Bit, okay, this is going to be on the farthest left bit. It's all ones, right? One and then all ones here, all, all zeros. A one here and then all zeros here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just shift this right by one. So now this one be goes to becomes this position. The one on this side becomes this position, and then we get uh, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. Okay, and then as you could see here, this one value of one is the same most significant bit position of this. Okay, right, because you have ones and then all zeros. And the reason why this works is be, 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 uh, mainly because after shifting all these values by one, two, four, eight, and 16, um, all these bits become ones. And then um, when you add one, you basically add, you attach a one on the farthest left, and then all the, the rest become zeros. And then if you shift it right by one, uh, that that gives you the most significant bit on this left side, right? Okay, yeah, that's basically how it works. That's basically how the gist of it. So now let's just explain the code and just show you guys what the code does. Okay, so but this is basically the the code. Um, so I take the original number of n and I shift it right by one, and I'm going to or it, right, with n. Then I'm going to take the value of n, shift it right by two. Then I'm going to or it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing by four or at eight or it, and then 16, shift it right by 16 and then or it. So then in the end, what I'm gonna, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have all ones in all the places of where it is, right? Now, if I add one, that's going to make them all zeros and put the one on the furthest left side. Okay, all the way on the, an extra one on the furthest left side. And then um, basically if you shift it right by one, that one on the furthest left side ends up becoming the uh, most significant bit number. Okay, so let's, uh, I'll actually just step into the code for you with you guys. So here I'm, I press this number and let's just see, we, I still put 10 as the original one. So we have 10, we shift it right by, or it by one. Um, so this actually gives us 15, oh, that's, that's actually insane. I didn't even know that. Um, is there a way to check the bits? I don't even know actually. Maybe I could look at the assembly, look at the bits. No, I can't, uh, whatever. Shift it right by two, uh, four, okay, eight, 16. Yeah, so as you can see, it's, all the values become ones and that's how you actually gives us, gave us a value of 15. Um, if you add one, you now you become 16 and then if you shift it right, you're dividing it by two and that actually gives you um, eight. So the answer is eight, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much how you would find the most significant bit of a number. 
Um, so let me just reiterate what we did. Uh, we just kept shif shifting the right since we know we there's 32 bits in an integer. The maximum we probably have is 16. And then if you were just to keep shifting right by powers of one, two, four, and eight, and 16, you're going to get all values of ones, right? All values of ones in all the locations. Then if you were to add one to it, you're going to have a one on the furthest left side and then a bunch of zeros for the rest of these. But um, the position of this one is uh, one, one greater, right? Is one greater. And we have like extra zeros here. So what we do in the end, we just shift it right by one to actually get the right number of values of zeros and ones. So then this is actually this one, this value ends up actually becoming the right location of the bit shifting. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much how you would do this problem. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed, the, uh, enjoyed this video. I'll ch check you guys later. Peace.